a very good morning to all today we are moving on to a new chapter and the name of the chapter is insects so you all have seen insects right so we can see different insects around us so insects are small animals which is common around us you can see different kinds of insects around us there is an interesting fact about these insects do you know what is that these insects are the largest group of animals which is living on the earth they are the largest group of animals living on the earth so they live everywhere so they live on plants they live in soil they live on ground so they live everywhere and these insects differ in shape size color etc and there are many examples for insects like the butterflies bees moat grasshoppers all these are examples for insects so let me ask you a question how many legs do these insects have they have six legs most of the insects fly and even there are insects which cannot fly like ant so insects are small animals which is commonly found around us so they differ in shape size color etc so do all insects looks the same no do all insects eat the same food no so they differ in their size shape color etc and today we are going to learn about the body parts of an insect so let's see the body parts of an insect so the body of an insect is divided into three main parts so you know which are the three main parts that is the head the thorax and the abdomen so this is the three main parts of the body of an insect so let's start with the head of an insect that is the head the head consists of two eyes a mouth and a pair of feelers so you all know what is the function of this eyes so the eyes helps to see this eyes helps the insects to see the things around them so these are the two eyes of the insect then what about these feelers are you hearing this term for the first time these feelers are also called antennas feelers or antennas so what is the function of this feelers or antennas so you can see here the hair like part on the head of the insect that is called the feelers so this feelers helps them to smell helps them to smell and feel things so that is the function of these two feelers feelers or antenna that helps them to smell and feel things then what about the mouth they eat they take in food to, uh, food through their mouth so the head consists of two eyes a pair of feelers and a mouth and what is the next part the next part is the thorax so this thorax is the middle section of the body of an insect the middle part of the body of an insect so how many legs do the insects have they have six legs and you can see all these six legs are attached to these thorax so the six legs are attached to the thorax and what about their wings they have two pairs of wings and even their wings are attached to this thorax and wings what is the function of the wings wings helps them to fly and what about legs legs helps them to move from one place to another that is about the second part that is the thorax coming to the third part which is the third main part that is the abdomen this abdomen is behind the thorax and this abdomen contains the digestive system of an insect what it contains it contains the digestive system of an insect and it helps an insect in digesting its food that is about the abdomen and if you closely observe you can see small holes present here and you may think how do these insects breathe so do insects breathe yes they are living things they need air to live so they do breathe and how do they breathe you can see there are tiny holes present which is called the spiracles and through this fine tubes 
air enters and reaches all part of the body of an insect. So that is about the body part of an insect. So the body of an insect is divided into mainly three parts. That is the head, the thorax and the abdomen. And the head consists of two eyes, a pair of fillers or antenna and a mouth. And the thorax, that is the middle section of an insect where the legs and wings are attached. And the last one and the third main part is the abdomen which helps an insect in digesting its food. So these are the three main parts of an insect. Coming to page number 50, there is a question. So let's read and write the answer. The fillers helps an insect to smell. So you can tick the right answer, yes or no. So what is the answer? Answer is yes. Fillers helps an insect to smell. The second one, all insects have four legs. So what is the answer? The answer is no. Insects have six legs. So I hope you understood the topic, the body parts of an insect. So which are the three main parts? The head, the thorax and the abdomen. So we'll meet in the next class and we'll discuss the new topic. So till then, thank you.